giving Beyonce this movie. What do you think? Beyonce, but look. She can't see Beyonce. Okay. <laughs> At least I'm off tomorrow. I don't know why I'm tired. Oh, actually I do. I was at TikTok for two a.m. Hey, say my name's Cody and I love Kyle. <laughs> my outfit is really giving bitch. You know I'm sexy. So don't call, just text me I T G I R L. Yeah, it's getting too. I saw a spoiler of Black Cake on TikTok, so now I'm just about to finish it. I'm episode four. Love. Shook. This show is so good. I might just read the book. Like it is twelve thirty on Thursday, November twenty third. I am trying to bundle up right now so that I can go to Mariano's and get some liquor for the day. And um, I don't know, I just think it's cold outside. My apartment is a bit of a mess because I got back in town on Monday night, went straight to work on Tuesday and Wednesday. So this is my one off day. I should clean, but I have to be ready at three, but I'm back. I hope it's not cold. I'm gonna put on my big old jacket and my scarf. Check out <laughs> the shot hat. I'll be wearing it all freaking winter long. Cute. Be back soon. So I have two phones now. One that I'm using for like a little bit of recording, but mainly for um, editing is in like my phone. And I just spent seconds looking for both phones. So that's gonna be my new life, making sure I have both my phones on me. Um, I'm gonna show my pretty walk. I hope it's not freezing outside, I can't tell. I was on my way to Mariano's when I was like, wait, actually, it makes more sense to go to a liquor store. Mariano's plays too much by blocking off everything. So now nah, this is what they get. Listen to this music. Y'all can't tell me this is to prevent people from like hanging out outside. What? Be serious. Yeah, that was me using 100% of my brain. Much more affordable. It's also unfortunately cold. <sighs> it's fucked up a honey bun. Yummy. Um, it's winter time in Chicago, y'all. No joy. <laughs> My apartment is still a mess. I just retwisted my hair into a ponytail and my outfit is a fucking sleigh. Like this is like a, the bottom of this shirt that I basically cut. And now it's a crop top. I put this top on top of it. Like, let's get into it all to be in my cousin's living room it's a sleigh my hair looks great mm. yeah i obsessed with this sleigh so just a little life update i was working at my job as a temp and now i am officially like with the company uh, my first day was on Tuesday, so I am celebrating that. And also just forever celebrating my life and just being thankful for being alive. Like, my middle name is Joy, so maybe that's what this all boils down to and like names me shit, but like, I am living a good fucking life. And I need to always be clear, and that does not mean a perfect life or anything, but I just mean like seriously a good life. I'm so happy to be in this body, to be existing as myself. And I am celebrating more money, some freaking health benefits, um, just being able to save and take care of myself in a way that I deserve, that everyone deserves. So 
I am gonna get the party started a little early. Cheers to like the last fucking two months of my 30s. I'm about to be 31. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I don't wanna do bubbles from the bottle. One second. So yeah, I definitely have work in the morning and I might have to go in on Saturday. But I'll probably clean up my spot eventually. <laughs> it is a little bit of a mess. Mm. Okay. I haven't been wanting to say this out loud, but I think this might be the official announcement. Like, I'm, I was for a minute doing Kava over Prosecco, but I think I'm back to Prosecco beginning my top notch. I ordered a mirror on walmart.com. I don't know if I already said this. Let's see if it makes it here in one piece. The shipping label, I'm like spinning like the episode of That's So Raven. The shipping label was made yesterday, but I don't think the actual thing has been shipped yet. But I was getting nervous because I got a FedEx tracking thing but it didn't say it would be here to the 28th. A mirror should not be en route for that long. But when I investigated further, it was just a shipping label, shipping label being made. So we're gonna see, baby. Here's the chronicle. It's supposed to be here on the 28th. Let's see what it looks like when it get here. I'm going to move some art in this corner and put it in this corner over here. And I think it's gonna really spruce up the space. And I also need a rug. That's the next thing. But I kind of want to try that five below hack and get a lot of cheap rooms and put them together. I think I look great. <laughs> Let me finish getting ready and I'll see y'all either in the car or when I make it to my cousin's house. Cheers to living a good fucking life and just trying to figure this shit out. Like I, I can't do nothing but do this. I can't do nothing but be here. I don't want to stress myself out about anything. Hmm. This is my current mirror. I 100% need a new one. So cute. Y'all, not that they put a Harold's across the street. My, my lens is dirty, but what the heck? I got the end of that. That's how I work in here with the dumplings. You look so good, yeah. I don't care though. Not though, not the Yeah. You like your food? Is the food good? Y'all, I didn't got myself a second plate that I can't finish. And I would force myself to finish it because it's a recession. Ooh. I shouldn't have got the second place. <laughs> I should have made a second plate. When people think I'm loud, 
And when I say I love my family, that means each and every individual person in the room. Today is Toto birthday. Toto been uh, kicking it with me on her birthday. I don't care where she at since she was little. Mm -hmm. I just told her we can't go roller skating no more because I didn't get old. Can't do it. <laughs> but that, that used to be one of our events that we used to do for our birthday. One thing I always say is we ain't got nobody but us. When a real hard time comes, the only people you're going to have is your family. I'm going to give you all a full example. Say the neighbor next door got some extra food. Do you think he's going to give it to you? Or do he not have family that he should give it to? You understand what I'm saying? The families are going to take care of themselves and each other. I expected, I would love to have the, each of our family members, special love if the cousins all get together, that y'all understand one thing. When our the older people are gone, you only got who you got. So all these babies running around, I remember when James was running around. Matter of fact, James, Freddie, and Malik mm. would come to the house for the weekend. Freddie wasn't talking to nobody. I think I was the first person to hear Freddie's voice. <laughs> Uncle Mike, well, I want another ice cream. So if he asked Malik, I said, I ain't giving it to him unless he asked me. So Freddie, I finally <laughs> heard Freddie's voice. I said, all right, come on with it. But James Bond, you have no idea how much I love you seeing your baby with you, looking just like you. And all, I'm just saying, I'm, I can't call all, all the babies are beautiful. All the babies are beautiful. But I appreciate everybody that's here today. And uh, since they gave me this presentation, I want us to do something for Toto. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Did you bring a bag? 
This is what I deserve. I'm going to a concert. It's 30 degrees in Chicago. I'm gonna bundle up with my coat. It's Friday at 7.46. The concert started at 7.30. So there's that. I was pleasantly surprised that this mirror arrived uh, not broken. It was impressive. Oof, that was great. Definitely wearing heels to a standing room only concert. So there's that. Edit. Okay, wait, what do we, do we have to turn here? We gotta turn that away. Look y'all, it's so warm. I'm so cute. <laughs> to a Femdot concert yesterday too, so that was really good. I love live music. He's a great performer. And it seems like he had a cute outfit. I gotta see a picture of see what color it was. But I remember the era when people would just wear sweatpants and a t-shirt on stage and not even like custom vintage sweats. Just sweats. I'm looking at you, J. Cole. Is there any acting in this? Of course. So 
So is it Mandy or Mandy or Mandy or Mandy? It's a musical, but... Let's go out tonight. Take me, baby, or leave me. I get it. It's silly to complain about the weather in Chicago, but. Gross! Oh. Best friends forever. Y'all, I'm so tired. <laughs> About to eat this and hopefully it gives me energy to clean up. I need to do dishes. It's just... Oh my God! Give me a break. It's Thursday. I have a 7... Okay, my flight boards at 7.25 from O'Hare. But it leaves at 8 10. I'm going to Orlando for my line sister's wedding. I don't know the last time I was even on camera, but I'm going to make myself some dinner, clean up, and then I'm just gonna chat a bit about the Faith Ringgold show. Um, just about my life so far, uh, this week, the end of the year, just everything. I'm just gonna chat to the camera a bit, but it's Thursday. I think the last time I was on screen was when I watched Rin. Is that true? I don't know, but. I'm here, more to come. I had therapy yesterday, and let's just say I'm getting my money's worth because there's something going on. I got some stuff to figure out. I have so much to um, relearn and unlearn, and my God, and being in therapy just be like, damn, I really gotta confront this shit. I really gotta tell this lady. I didn't work on that that she told me to work on. But, okay, let me eat. Let me clean. And then I'm going to get on screen um, as I finish packing. Bye. Okay. I ate. It's 8 o'clock on Thursday. I have 12 hours until I take off. I'm going from O. R D to I don't know what Orlando is called. Orlando, I guess maybe like O I T Orlando. That would be crazy. Let's see what it's called. It's called MCO. <laughs> Screaming. Uh, my flight boards at seven twenty-five now or here. I just have to keep saying that to myself so I make all the best. Decisions. I've been so moody all week, so I'm about to read my pattern. Um, let's see what the heck's going on. Okay, your daily vibe Thursday. Think about whether you're subconsciously repeating any patterns in your life. My goodness, a part of you can also be busy interacting with others and processing your thoughts that you might not notice if you're holding on to outdated habits. 100%. That's what's going on. Today, you may experience some especially thought-provoking insights. Yeah. Okay, I think this is one of, like, do y'all have a pattern app? So now I'm gonna like go deeper inside of it. This one, let me go deeper. Um, okay, I have to read this whole one over because it changes a bit from that initial one. So it's called A New Direction from November 30th until December 2nd. I, I'm definitely in a mood of like, I gotta figure some shit out because my therapy session this week is just like, the point is, I got all these things that I should be doing from my last session and didn't do nothing. And I know I should do these things and doing those things would literally transform and change my life, you know? So do it. Okay, a new direction. Today you may experience some especially thought provoking insights. You may find new inspiration that could help you see beyond any limiting beliefs or take or even take you in a new direction. Intention. There's a surrounding energy encouraging you to think as broadly as possible. The intention is to remove the perception of limitations on what you can do. 
As new ideas come to you, don't worry about how you might implement them into reality. Just focus on your efforts. Eventually, you can achieve your desired outcome. Key takeaways. In this time period, you might be feeling mentally sharper than usual. You can, this can help you solve long-standing challenges that previously inhibited you from acting on your plans. Remember that even subtle shifts can help you gain more freedom and agency in your life and support you to embrace change. That's crazy. I'm happy I read my pattern. That gives me so much. I just had a busy week, you know, tired. Cause right, I just re-looked at my videos and the last time I was on here was Saturday, Sunday after going to get my food. So this vlog has um, last week Thanksgiving, the Tuesday before that, cause I went to go see Faith Ringgold at the Museum of Contemporary Art Chicago. And then me watching Rent on Sunday, going to FemDot on Friday. But this is all the way the following week, Thursday, the first time I'm on camera. I think I've literally just been at work all week and home and resting. Uh, but I do have a very early flight tomorrow. Uh, the top of this video has um, an extended open cut of that beautiful Salon song uh, with the trip I took to see the Faith Ringel show American People at the Museum of Contemporary Art. I went last Tuesday, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I want to go back because the a lot of the pieces also have stories like literally written or sewn or suits or screen pressed on the pieces. Um, and I want to read those because in conjunction with those, there are a lot of books that she has that has her work with the stories. And I read one about her being nine and having dinner on this rooftop. And when I walked through the rest of the exhibit, I saw those actual huge pieces that were page by page of that book and around it had the actual word. So I want to be able to actually sit and see it because I went there after a work event and I only had about an hour. And usually that is more than enough for MCA shows, but because of the depth and brevity of the work, uh, Faith Ringgold is 92 years old. So she has a, a lot of span and because of the writing, it you, you just need to take your time in there. So I'm gonna go back. It's, MCA shows are usually here for like at least three to four months. So I have some time. I'm doing a lot of traveling. So Orlando this weekend, Bahamas next weekend. My first time ever going on a cruise. Never been on a cruise before. So just breathing deep. I got a lot of travel. Travel is just not fun. Like traveling is like the airport, the plane, that part. So it's like being somewhere new, stellar, exciting. My favorite part of life. But I remember when I was leaving, I think like on my way to Paris, this last trip I had to Paris in 2021, it was like, okay, I'm going to Paris, so I'm having fun. But coming back home, I was like, damn, we're just in the air. I want to get off and that's too damn bad. I can't get off. Um, but I was so happy when I found out there was going to be a Faith Ringo show because I honestly just, found out about her work when I was working in the gallery in 2022. Um, the artist was, was looking to some of her work because they were working on a quilt actually. Um, and actually he had a, it was a puzzle. So like th there's a beautiful painting and the painting is actually in the show um, or they're called quilt paintings. There's this beautiful piece that was um, on a box because it was actually a puzzle. And then I just remember after that, I kept like, you know, when you know, when you know something now, you see it all the time. So I would start seeing like artist books or I would just like see her name on the front of things because as a Gwendolyn Brooks stan, I hadn't realized this. Um, I think it's just called Bronzeville, if not Kids in Bronzeville. Um, that's a Faith Ringo and Gwendolyn Brooks collab. So she, I mean, she's 92, so there's like a brevity of her work, but I honestly did find out, like I learned the name uh, because an artist in the studio that I was working with was using um, the source image on that puzzle uh, just because he 
likely knew about the quilt painting and just like knew like if I'm gonna make a quilt, who else we going to other than Faith Rainbow? Cause that's the thing like, some of the pieces are just like quilts. Some of them are just paintings, but some of them are literally quilts that she made and then painted on. And then in, in addition to that, wrote those stories in the, it is just, Spectacular. So that's what that is at the top of this video. Please Google her. I'll have it in my description. I love this shirt. It's from this like store in Pilsen. I couldn't even tell you the address. Um, but it's like what the GTA, but it says your hood hero Chicago. It's on $5. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm happy that I read my pattern because I'm telling you, I've been moody this week, but I think it's just because it's cold. The season's changing, so I'm changing. And I just got to do Christmas stuff. So, like, that was just, like, two days. And I, I do feel so much better today. I was helpful. I was kind. I ate. I'm, like, obsessed with, um, well, it's been three days. But that, that gets obsessed. But I got some arugula. And originally, I was going to do, like, rice, arugula, broccoli, and um, mushrooms. Like, I cooked the broccoli and mushrooms. I thought I was gonna put rice in a roll top, but I've just been eating the broccoli and the mushrooms hot or cold because it's all cooked, choosing which one with the arugula and the avocado. My goodness. Chef's kiss. I did not get my eyebrows done. I was trying to do my nails and my toes right now. But once again, I'm saying I have a 7, a 7 a.m. flight from O'Hare. And I have to say that because it's actually an 8 10, but we board at 7 25. So in my heart, I have a 7 a.m. flight from O'Hare. And I don't know yet. Let me see if I have Uber on this phone. So I got this second phone um, so that I have storage. So I'm like recording on my phone and airdropping it here and editing here. Um, because I had terrible storage time. I don't have Uber on this phone, so I can't see how much Uber it is. Maybe I'll just download it and edit it out. Do y'all always just give five stars? I do, unless I absolutely don't believe it, but okay. I wanna like let's see if I reserve it. It's thirty dollars. That's in my that's in my uh price range for a trip to a, the airport kind of annoying so it would be December 1st at okay if I'm Ubering how far is that in a car girl man I feel like if I if I have to steal Uber and be out the house at 5 30 why not take the train let me see what time do I need it for now I gotta download maps I'm screaming because this is Apple Maps. What do people say is better? Because I'm, I'm always on Apple Maps. Oh, is this it? I'm not using Google Maps. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's this one. Uh, O'Hare. O'Hare. Because I flew into O'Hare uh, when I came back from Utah. Ugh. Terminals just so damn far. Okay, it is. It's 38 minutes by car and an hour and 12 by the train. So I need to leave here. Six is reasonable. Let me see how much that costs. That's the thing, the, um, when you try to reserve a ride, for some reason they like to play silly little games and it just makes sense to do it in the morning. Let's see. See? It's $60 to reserve it for a share, a XL, well, okay, of course. No, okay, a regular Uber is a $60 for people who get in there. No, I'm not reserving that. But if I was just going right now, see, $60 don't make sense for Uber. I'm not doing that. $60 basically $100. Right now, it's 
$30 to get your hair. So we'll see in the morning. I feel like at five o'clock that might be a heavy time. So I probably just need to put it in my head that I am riding the train and think about what coat and how I'm gonna stay warm. Who's that a lot? I think this is the end of this vlog because why not have uh, the next vlog be the start of or like vlogging that start me like my days in Orlando, the wedding, uh, and just like when I get back because I'll be pretty busy. I guess I'll do like from then until Wednesday and then prepare for Bahama. A freaking cruise. Never been on one before. I'm so intrigued. It seems so interesting. Like there's just so many interesting rules. But we're here. We're clear. I got these pants from the car. I got my shirt from Pilsen. <laughs> I'm screaming. Okay, thank you all so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so excited. I hope you all enjoyed my mini vlog in Utah. The mountains were beautiful. Life is so beautiful, even though I was so moody all week. But I've been moody because there's a new change coming. <laughs> Bye.